Yo, what's up, my people? Today we're gonna be playing Exo Primo on the Xbox Series X because it's available on Game Pass right now for you to play. You're a Game Pass Ultimate member, so it is going down. Really excited for this. Really, really, really excited. Uh, this was a game that was on my radar, but I kept. Sometimes I don't read a bunch because I want to be surprised about the game. So I do know that it's supposed to be like a big time shooter, futuristic. You'd be able to play co-op and all that. You can play as a female or a male here. Currently, I don't have my HDR on because of my capture card, but that's good. Keep it like that. Yeah, I was downloading some uh, classic stuff to finish up. Okay, so speaker type, home theater, it works, audio input, default, default, 3D of. Color perception filter. Oh, let me try this. Oh, no. Oh, off. All right. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this first time gameplay. Uh, it's going to be very chill. I'm going to pop in every now and then, give you my thoughts on the game so i don't want to be oversaturated definitely going to be you know like in the gameplay different color commentary maybe not too much during cutscenes. so end user agreement let's just slide on through this Right, agree. Checking that Capcom ID link. Okay, let's go. Technology under threat from dinosaurs. Defending the peace. IBS World News. Hello, viewers. I am Ivy the Android. And here is the latest news. This is footage of last week's major dinosaur outbreak. As you can see, an exo fighter unit was on the scene to stop the raptor swarms. Ivius's superior dinosaur forecasting and cutting edge exosuit technology were able to keep human casualties to zero. Exosuit development is proceeding under the guidance of the next-gen AI, Leviathan. Meanwhile, Ivius continues to recruit candidates to become new exofighters. Humanity's greatest hope. Here are the latest images of recently developed exosuits. Ibius's advancements make our world a better place. 
And we owe it all to Heizol. Technology for the future. Technology for you. Another Exofire approved, right? Welcome to Ivius. We'll begin by registering your data. Okay, here we are creating a character. I'm gonna be honest, I'm tired of creating characters. I I am, I get why they do it, but like honestly I also think it's a waste of time. Like because it depends on the type of game. Like what's gonna be your core experience pretty much, you know? Can you do more than one? Nah, you can't. I hate that. And then you make these character creations. And then, like, meanwhile, a WWE game <laughs> outdo you on creation. Even after all this time. What is going on? Okay, hold up. I made this rock with a preset, but... Oh, I gotta press X to set it. If you don't press X, it don't set. I don't like that. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't set the scar, but it stayed. Everything else didn't. Some of these markings have been on their games forever. Another thing, why there isn't a body? Where, where's the body? It don't really matter, really. It really doesn't. Data logging complete. Do I got breasts? Please proceed to the firing range. What is going on Not here? An exo fighter aptitude test. Leviathan will provide instructions for operating exosuits. Do not deviate from Leviathan's guidance. I think I got breasts. What? Hello, I am Leviathan, your IBS supervisor. Watch your drones and hopefully I can change my stuff later, but let's go. To the Exofighter Aptitude Exam. Listen closely as we review the operation of Exosuit version 932, Deadeye. First, direct your attention to the watcher and don't forget to smile. 
Now, move to the specified location. Maintain course over and around environmental obstacles. Fire at the target. Move into the right hand lanes. Focus fire on the distant targets. Ooh, it's very sensitive. Try sprinting to move more quickly as you head to the next area. Congratulations. You will now participate in a live fire exercise. Use the dead eye model. Targets will be provided to improve your skills. Hope you like dinosaurs. I'm just wondering if this game gonna be another anthem, but you know, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think anthem was bad, but I didn't play it that long either. I still haven't got to really go on it that long. Place a wall where indicated by your exosuit. Walls stop enemy attacks while allowing allied attacks to pass on their very lethal way. Providing new targets. Every exosuit has a powerful overdrive ability. Let's give it a shot. Fire Deadeye's cluster salvo through the cluster salvo. Swap exosuits at any time via the suit change option. Now, swap to the roadblock model. Swap exosuits at any time via the suit change option. Now, swap to the roadblock model. The roadblock model? That's what I just did. Okay, give me a second. I don't know what's going on. Swap exosuits at any time via the suit change option. Now, swap to the roadblock model. Okay, it was why. The roadblock model features a state of the art shield. Utilize your standard attacks to eliminate targets. Got it, pal. The witch doctor. 
helicopter model was designed for the true team player. This suit features an attack that can paralyze Saurian targets. Want to try? Use paralysis to stop the targets. Witch Doctor's repair field projects a soothing beam to heal and repair allies. Activate repair field now. I'll go break it down! Use the feed ability to repair your ally. The Dominator is the last word in dinosaur control. Equipping the Dominator allows you to command dinosaurs in combat. Equip your Dominator now. Activate your Dominator and try summoning a Carnotaurus. This might be the one I use. Take full advantage of this biological weapon asset and destroy the dummy suits. I feel like it should be doing more damage though. I'm just missing him. Can I change my uh, uh my gear too? Calculated aptitude test result. Result exemplary. Congratulations. You are now a member of the Ibius family. As a new exo fighter, Ibius will be assigning you to an extremely safe detachment. Patrol unit number five two five eight five. Code name the Hammerheads. We look forward to seeing you grow with Ibius. Ibius promptly formed the committee tasked with investigating the cause of the incident at the second tower. Some involved playing the root AI Leviathan and operating under the device. Absolutely not. What's the matter, Ace? Circling Leviathan day and night already. No, no, I'm ready. I'll be on Swiss Army knife on this side. If that doesn't make for a great technician, I don't know what does. Ugh, a troll. A troll what? Nothing has gone on or off this island in three years. We're assigning you to a new team. 
Don't think of it as a devotion. Think of it as a... a song. What, Leviathan's right there? You think it can see us? Attention crew. Vortex warning from Ibius HQ. We're not on dino duty today. Vortex hazard level 5. Tell you what. Heads, we'll go check it out. Tails, not our problem. Not our problem. Oh, fucking blasting! Ah, teeth? Sunday, out of curiosity, where is that vortex? Dad. Greetings. I am Leviathan, your AI guide. Welcome to Bikitoa Island. Under my supervision, Ibius conducts its most important research at this facility. Wonderful news. You have been granted permission to participate in ongoing IBIS research and development. I will allow your survival if you demonstrate outstanding combat capabilities. Remember, enthusiastic participation is mandatory. As an IBIS employee, your compliance is our expectation. Initiating dimensional integration. Research subject, exo-fighters. Transferring subject to new war game phase. Welcome to my research facility.
now than you be. Standing there like you never shot a dinosaur before. Ah. All right, Ricky. I'm gonna show you the ropes. Transport initiated. Oh, yeah. Teams are firefighting these war games, you know? I mean, we aren't the only nut jobs risking our hides. What's up? Death is likely beyond this point. Sustained cardiac distress may occur. Follow for a satisfying war game experience. It ain't kidding either. Do just as it says, and you'll be fine. If you want to survive, you better complete the assignment. Exofighters, follow the Watcher. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. All right, um, I'm a little confused on what's going on, but it is what it is. I'll watch it back. I like how they have uh, AI uh, teammates for you, though. Where is he? Those dickheads have done Zephyrin. Go over there and give them a recall. Got your back. Bounce no, back. Remember. There wasn't even a body there. I don't know how I feel about that. They could have had him with a fallen body. Hopefully it was a glitch. Catching on yet? 
Leviathan runs these war games and pulls hundreds, thousands of exofighters from other dimensions right here to beautiful Bikatoa Island. And that includes you and me, Hawkeyes. Follow the nav line and join the mission. It's like most games are wondering about the save points. <laughs> That's always my main thing these days. Alright, Triceratops is my favorite dinosaur. So listen up. We're going to be sent back to our dimensions when this war game's done. You might have seen a corpse on the ground before Leviathan yanked you. Those bones are wrapped around a device. Scoop it up and connect it to your carrier. They made me walk slow like gears do. He probably was loading something up. Exceptional specimen, respond to this exceptional threat. Providing a new target. Engage and eliminate the T-Rex. The Vyther's gotta be taking a piece. It's your first day on the job. Robin is one of those. This is trash. I do like how those uh, portals look when they come out of. Everything else should be honest. It's okay. <laughs> Shit. Like I'm not super impressed yet, but I like it because I like third person games. But nothing that really sticks out about it that makes it that special yet. What happened? Exercise logged. Sunsetting temporal instance. Have a super day. <laughs> Never die. I'm a dinosaur. That's hustle, hot guys. Hey, like this. For luck. See you around, mate. What is in this thing? Tequila, creme de menthe, in my secret ingredient, scotch, bone, and pepper. Sack of bones. Uh, okay, okay. I think I got it. You think? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Don't just. Oh! Oh, uh, yep. I definitely got it. 
No response on all radio frequencies. Connection to Ivy's network failed. Forget the network connection, Sandy. Just try to contact Ace. Ugh, if Ace would have survived, they would have checked him by now. You're underestimating his team, your majesty. Just stop calling me. Oh! Sorry, sorry, bit of a bitch there. Yeah. Ace is gonna make it. Yeah, the chief's right, you match. I mean, Ace might not have called in, but you know these strong silent types are. Oh, I slapped my ball bearings. Ace really isn't dead. So now, uh, Ace, how may I assist you? we have locked our, another achievement, return from the Dino House for the first time. This is our home. There is the main base operation for players. Cycle through the menu, join war games, customize suits, view rewards, and perform other action and join the battle and enter a war game. Dino survival is where five players compete with each other, complete missions as fast as possible, fighting off dinosaurs. Okay. Buddies. Okay, you think you know that's just your friend list. War chests can be earned by increasing your player level. These chests grant a variety of rewards and items. I have no war chest. What have you done to my baby? She's a wreck. So maybe from here I can um edit my character hopefully. Can be purchased with bitcoins at player level 20. I'm gonna be honest, some of these characters I can tell they were wanting to get some transformer love in it. Like, that's supposed to be like an RC like character. I'm just gonna be honest. And this one is like a cross between Megatron and Optimus Prime. I'm just saying, that's definitely a transformer like body, definitely right there. Um, but, I mean, it's not a complete, so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I think what happened is when I went to this preset, I went to her, and that's why I had that body. So be careful with that. <laughs> Don't make the same mistake I made. And the thing about that one is, it's like the head's so small. Like, I wish I could adjust that. I don't like the nose because the nose wouldn't fit me at all. That's why I kind of don't like it. But the other one looks real young. And even if you put facial hair on it, it really doesn't. It really doesn't change it.
I feel like there's a glitch in the system though, where if you change the face, the body changes too. So I guess I'm just gonna rock with this one. All better now. <laughs> All better. Yeah, I I can I can roll with that. Ace's aptitude test results were outstanding. Feel like we have to play with other people. Is that is that's the way it's going? A player level and a survival pass. Go figure. You have free and you have premium. Huh. Every game has to be a money maker. I was hoping it was just gonna be like. You know, a game. <laughs> Let's see what it's going to be like. I'm going to go a little bit forward. I was just hoping it's going to be like a game, though, you know? Uh, a game that I could play through, have some fun with. I'm going to adjust the brightness of my capture card real quick. My thoughts is they got a good universe here, an interesting kind of universe. I feel like this story is just basic average, but not bad so far. Great universe, a lot of mystery to it. Exo fighters, welcome here we go. To war game. I am the advanced artificial intelligence Leviathan. But the gameplay is still kind of like to participate in the this meh tests. as well. This is a two -team not bad, but meh. Those on the other side are the enemy team. The first team to complete all of the assigned objectives wins. The winning team will be eligible for bonus existence. Data indicates that human beings improve their performance through competition. Compete to win and compete to live. Compete to achieve research excellence. This is kind of weird to me. Um. 
it's getting to a point to be honest if a game free on xbox i get scared about it i'm just gonna be honest Like, we can't just have a, like, I just want a story campaign. And there's several games, like, another game we're playing. I think they added a story to theirs, though. I just don't know if it's going to be available on PlayStation when it releases today. And that's Naraka Blade Point. So I'm guessing it, there's another team they're comparing us to, and they know how fast that we are completing and how well we're completing it. I feel like Capcom just wanted to do a game like this. I don't think. Summoning I feel like it's a co-op game. Like a, oh. And you may unlock story bits as you go along. Yeah, you can see the thing in the middle. You can see where the other team is and where you're at. And you're trying to travel to the middle. We got like two or three more things to go. You 
you are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. Although it's kind of repetitive, we, we are doing better than the other thing. Dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Reach way. Summoning Pachycephalosauruses. Summoning Tyrannodons. Summoning Rattles. Are you serious? <laughs> Why is it coming after me? Did I make you mad, buddy? You gotta stay near that uh, data key. Prioritize this destruction. The enemy team is on the offensive. 
Oh my god, I actually got got. And the enemy team is coming back on us because of it. Or at least we get to see another suit now. Kind of neck and neck. What just happened to me? Gotta help my team. Oh, they did it without me. The enemy team fulfilled its objectives first. Oh, no, we lost. Do they have to do me like that? Okay, whatever. Um, I guess the game could be fun at times. I wonder how. You have been granted permission to survive. You are an ideal specimen for a very important experiment. Really? Your new assignment is the Perpetual War Game. Explore your potential in vigorous lethal interface with dinosaurs and your fellow exo fighters alike. That's what I just did. I require the best possible combat data in order to develop the best possible exosuit. Do your part. Survive the war game. And generate robust combat data. Deep learning in progress. Threat level rising. Research subject exo fighters. War game transitioning to infinite repetition. Human. Fight and die for me. Yo, I don't like the way this uh, AI is uh, talking.
All right, I do like how to give out rewards to people, you know, based upon what they do. Guardian, Master Destroyer, uh, Mechanical Master, and more. Too bad I can get in there. Seems like it's more of a hybrid multiplayer and co-op game. Mm. But can I be of assistance? The story advances. Majesty, you wound me. Here, Sandy, open a connection. Connection ready. Ah, I got it working. All right. How you doing, mate? Oh, you're the rude boy that pulled my pilot's feet out of the fire. Mm-hmm. Tell me, what kind of name is Magnum? Well, let me get out of here. You can ask me, man. Get that seat fixed up here. We got our priorities. I make sense of this situation. War games and parallel worlds. You've been living cloudy with a chance of raptors for two years. Is this a bigger box of chip? Three. Three years. Fuck off. Three. You're, you're, you're somewhere on this island. That's the only explanation. The name's Lorenzo. You grew up on the design race cars, right? With your little sis. Only you ended up in the list. And Haruka ended up. Hey! That's enough. I'm not saying a funny here, Ross Clot. Chief, you want to try talking to Parallel, you? Another one. Hmm. Still handsome. Oh. Dirty. Not gonna swallow your mind. Hmm? Your Lorenzo's never swallowed his stuff. That's why I gave us that coin. Yeah, that's parallel world money, mate. M Magnum, yeah. Have you uh, seen one of me over there? Oh, mate, I've never seen one of you. Nice hardware. Reckon he's a lifting, eh? <laughs> now, wait a minute, I'm not. Now, listen up. Hmm? The Vikings got our plums in the blender. It's trying to build stronger exosuits, so it's pulling any extra fighter it can get hold of back in time to these bloody war games. Now you win, your fabulous prize is more bloody war games! Yay! And you lose, you die. And your whole crew starts from death. Well, that's not an option. No, I reckon it's not. It's one way or another. Value team members. Prepare for dimensional integration in 10 minutes. See? And soon you're gonna be back in 2040. But remember, you need to keep fighting until we can figure out how to destroy the violin. Alright? And you stay alive, mate. I'm with you. Chief, what was that? Chief, there were two of you. I don't understand. All, I don't know. I don't think I believe it. And I know I don't understand. But right now, we got a suit to fix. Let's get to it. There's something wrong, man. I've never heard the chief raise his voice like that. Oh, when I mean, he spoke about Haruka, it's... The chief's sister. She died. I mean, it's in his file. And Sandy has it. She has all our files. Have... Raj, have you not read them? Absolutely not. It is inappropriate to read that. Wait, have you read? Is that my file? Are you reading? Did you read my file? I would never just to tease. Ace, Ace, listen to me, okay? You have to find one of me over there. It's not funny, Ace. Ace, I could be talking to myself. You're doing it now. I am available for tactical support and mental counseling. All right, so Premier Tier is now available. In order to escape from this island. I believe they gave us 
the credits to start just if we wanted to but i don't know how much i'm gonna be playing this to be honest i think i will be it, I, once again another exclusive i don't think it's gonna be in, on the top of the things for me to play mainly just because it's just another game to like show off on and i don't think it's gonna be nothing really i don't think the gameplay is really nothing to really show off on anyway so you're just gonna be playing leveling up gaining things it will unlock the story similar to how titanfall did in the very first game so Victoria seems as i go through the story i don't know if i'll be going through this uh this survival pass You'd be able to stick out, that's for sure, if you go through it. We see I have 14, 16 bit K now. What do you need to purchase this? Uh, 8 dollars So you want them to buy the game? And then also, you want them to buy this game and then also buy a pass. Not really sold on it. I'm not even really sold on the game, but on the pass. So. I don't know. The game's just okay. Like, I'm not really, like... Like, hyped or anything about it at the moment. The game is what it is. I'll play from time to time. I'll reach back with y'all and let y'all know how I feel about it. I'm probably definitely gonna be least... I might even showcase... I might not even showcase anything but the cutscenes i might i i'm just saying it's like it's, do y'all really want to watch the matches let me know in the comments below like because when you're gonna be playing these war games and then they're like open up cinematics as it goes along but i will say this the graphics are pretty good you know um some of the textures are, i say pretty good not nothing groundbreaking so I'm say a pinch above average at times. It just depends. Um, characters, I like the way they did the characters, some of the art design, the world and stuff. I really like that. Um, the dinosaur thing, I'm not really sure just yet how I feel about that. Uh, the sound is great. The music is great. To me, it's just bare bones. Like I feel like this could have been so much more, but it was just an excuse to throw a battle pass out there i believe uh the story you could have had a great story these exosuits you could have had a great world i don't know just another disappointment from the last couple games that i've been wanting to play from what was it At atomic uh what's it called atomic something the games seem to be Kind of bleh. I want to show y'all. Atomic Heart. That's what it was. From Atomic Heart to Redfall. Not to mention the disappointment of Halo Infinite. Like, I mean, seriously. I don't even understand why Xbox fans are going on. Like, we have so much to be excited for. And we shouldn't never touch a PlayStation. After right now, if you don't have a PlayStation, you're not you, you're not gaming that one. If you don't have both, you're not gaming that one. Just saying. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna end this on the screen right here. Um, subscribe to the channel for more for the first times. You know, just gameplay, chill gaming, uh, quality gaming, 4K gaming at times with no commentary at times. Sometimes with commentary. 
a little bit of this and a little bit of that of the favorite games new and old that are out there so with that being said i'll see you guys next show next video it's available on game pass right now uh outside of that you have to purchase it i would say wait i'm gonna be honest i would say wait uh especially for the price and then you had to put a game pass on it this is probably a, a game you want to catch on sale um but yeah with that being said i'll see you guys next show next video i'm out of here Peace.